As printers, the need for special black channels is critical in the success of images. Separation Studio gives you two different ways to make three different styles of blacks to suit your needs. First of all, if you're going to print on a black t-shirt, there's no need to generate a black channel. Uh, separation Studio is smart enough to create a really nice uh, full color separation utilizing the black of the garment. But if you're going to print on any color shirt other than black and need a black printer, this is how you do it. You go to the generate black channel up here at the top. Now this is what we mean by two different ways to generate three different blacks. If you go from the document, what this will do is this will generate the black channel from this file that we have opened here. So if we've made any adjustments, juiced up any of the colors, uh, that will actually show, and or not show, but it will use that data to generate that black channel. What I like to do is generate the, my blacks from the file. Now what this does is it calls out to my original file on a transparent layer and generates a great black. If you generate a black channel from this file, uh, from this document here, it would actually be about 15 percent darker uh, than the ones from the calling out to the original file. That's why I like to use this one. So it's, you can see here it says skeletal black, detailed black, and a sharper black. What I'm going to do here for to demonstrate this for you is I'm just going to generate a black channel for all three now notice it places the black channel in the proper print order for us so I'm going to do the same thing for the detailed the oh, reason I'm doing this I want to illustrate the differences for you explain why you would have three or why you would, might need three so I'm going to turn all these other channels off and we view just the black and we're going to start off with the skeletal black I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to I'm going to go to view as film so we can see the actual film data now instead of the color preview. So this is our skeletal black. Notice there's black in the dead black areas and there's a very little gray information. If we go to the detailed black and we click on at the bottom of the screen here, notice there's a little bit more detail. Now the skeletal black is designed for dark colored garments. Forest greens, maroons, navy blues, that sort of thing it allows for the garment color to compensate for some of the shadow areas. The detailed black has a little bit more information. This is designed for colored shirts. So if you can print on any color shirt, typically I would use a detailed black. And if you take a look at the sharper black, there's even more detail. Now this is what I use for white shirts or really light shirts. Um, and if you notice the proper print order up here, it is first. You do print the black printer first in Separation Studio. And the reason is, is because it's a true process of separations. If you print the black first and print the other colors on top, what it, and since all those things are being printed wet on wet, you actually have a mixing of the colors. So you actually have a sh darker shade of any green, blue, or red that you might have on top. Rather than printing those colors and then just hitting the black at the end, which is literally just going to look like you just threw a whole bunch of black on top of the colors. Be sure to watch the other videos in this how-to series.